All right, hello, hello, hello. This is Kay for Comics First. I'm here with the one and only, very strange, very amazing Ben Templesmith. Ben Templesmith, it's very nice to. I agree with talk one of those statements. Oh, one, only one. I won't say which one, but you can probably guess. I don't know if I can. Really? I think of it as a compliment. Oh, I, I take it as such. Okay, well, anyway, um, uh, for my first question, I wanted to tell you that I'm a huge fan of Singularity. Well, mm, okay, well, uh, let me start with a comment or a compliment. Um, I'm a, Thank you. Thank yes, I, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Singularity and Wormwood Gentleman Corpse, and I loved your work for Fell and 30 Days of Night. And um, I was asking you about this before, but how do you compare your experience working for yourself versus working with other people? Uh, well, one, you're your own boss, like literally the only person. Um, when you work with someone else, it's kind of like a marriage in some ways. So it's good in some ways. And in other ways, you have to defer to someone else and ask their opinion. And, you know, it's collaboration. Sometimes it's, it really depends on the person, but I do like them, but I also like doing my own stuff a lot now. And it's getting really hard to talk a little bit. <laughs> um, it's just loud. Um, not me. Um, no, it's just it's it's different. It's like it's like asking who's your favorite kid when you've had kids. It's like, well, they're just different. You love them both. Okay, but so I like being my own boss. I like writing and I like being in control. Like I like doing everything myself and shaping it myself. When I'm doing it with a, another writer, usually a, a writer. Um, you're giving yourself over to them and interpreting what they do. So, yeah. like, that's fine, too. Sometimes you want that. Interesting. It's interesting that you didn't go into... I don't know if that's easy. I feel like a lot of people... Well, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> but I'm both. Um, I, that makes me buy. <laughs> I guess so, if you want to think of it that way. Yeah, Hold on. I'm, like, worried that we're not getting the comedy... That is what you're saying because when you put it up, I just hope the audio is working. <laughs> Hearing other people. Oh, oh no. Oh good. Actually, to go into that, you um I really liked Wormwood Gentleman Course because you mix the genres of horror and comedy. Do you think that there's a close relationship between the genres of horror and comedy? There should be. Um well, I come from Australia, so uh, we have this thing called gallows humor. It's like, it's kind of a little bit part of the national character that in shitty, dark times of horrible, like, war and stuff, a lot of, a lot of us joke about that because, like, you can... The best thing to do in the face of adversity is laugh. So, yeah, um, comedy... If horror takes itself too seriously sometimes... I mean, it's very hard to shock people these days, but it's easy to make them laugh at the horrific shit that goes on. Usually if it's absurdist. I mean, ISIS, nothing really to laugh at there, but you can make them funny. They're just, right. because they're so outlandishly evil that you can do nothing. Like laughter is a defense mechanism as well. So there's like horror and comedy are very intermixed in ways I'm not really explaining very well, but yes, they are. Okay. Um, so because of that, do you think that, do you think that that's like the where you feel the most comfortable in terms of writing and drawing for yourself, or is that not necessarily the case? I would say yes because it sufficiently masks my inability to write properly. What like what does that mean? What does the inability to write mean? You're talking to someone that literally came up with the title of their book and then figured out what the story was to fit the title, as opposed to writing a story and then making up a title. I don't think that that's wrong. No, I, I, you did your I own thing. To do a, I wanted to do a book called "It Only Hurts When I Pee." Yeah. And I came up with the story afterwards. I just, the title came first. Well, th then it was genius. It was New York Times bestseller and all that I don't stuff. know if that one was. Okay. Well, the whole volume, I think, the hardcover volume. One of them. One, one of them. them. One of them was a New York Times bestseller, yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, just take... That's a technical PR thing, though. It doesn't mean I sold a million copies. <laughs> okay, well... I rich. Fair. That's fair. I don't fair. think I'd be rich even if I did sell a million copies. Well, you are an artist, so... I am an artist, yes. <laughs> Okay, um, also, what's the deal with... <laughs> Thanks, I'm an artist. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be an artist. It's okay. But what's the deal with the squids? Is there, like, a certain kinship that you have with the squid, or do you just follow the giant space squid? They're fun to draw. They're one of the most alien things on the planet that are yet not alien. Um, you know, there's the whole Cthulhu mythos, Lovecraftian stuff. They're, like, they're alien. They're, they're monsters in a way. I mean, there's the whole history of, you know, sea monsters and stuff. But, like, I just love drawing them. They're an aesthetic. 
They work with a lot of things. They've become more popular recently as well. So like I started before that, but I'm writing it too. So I love tentacles and I have lots of things coming with tentacles in them. Yeah. I, I seem to put like squid things in lots of things. So they're not all the same thing, they're just squidly things. Yeah, you definitely like the squid things. I have more of that coming. Is it a religion or? Uh, for tax purposes, yes, it is my religion. Okay. But no, it's not a religion. It should be, it's as valid as any other, Yeah. I think. Totally. ISIS should get into that, honestly. I Make it much nicer. Right? <laughs> I actually have a book, an art book I did with the 10 squid commandments in it, and mostly it's just be nice to each other, not cutting heads off or anything. I mean, so, uh, that's pretty good. Squid, that's really people, good. squid people know what's good, I think. Yeah. We, also, we don't door knock people either. No door knocking. No, just slither right in. Yeah. 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 Okay. So as my final question, is there any specific character that you have the most fun drawing, or is it any commission that you had recently? or any personal characters or characters you've done for other people that you had the most fun drawing? I like drawing skulls. Okay, here's the, as a, as, oh, okay, I'm a commercial artist. Okay, so the correct answer to that, if you're honest, is what I like drawing most is as little possible as possible for the most amount of money. But if it's my own personal art that I do, that's just for me and it's not about money at all. Okay. So I kind of straddle both. Because okay. doing Wormwood is a love but at some point I'd like to pay my rent, you know, so I hope it makes money. Mm. But I don't have like a favorite. I like drawing skulls, that's about it, and smoking. I love drawing cigarettes out of people's mouths. It's a weird thing. But and I love, so, so yeah, but so like a skull thing with a cigarette, even better. Okay, cool. You should yeah. you should get a tattoo if you don't have one. You should I just get many, one. I have just, seven tattoos. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Medi have you, a medieval tapestry. Oh, have you thought of like making your own tattoo? No. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want your own art on yourself? No, I, I like history, so I, I have a... Uh, I'm getting a medieval tapestry down this arm, and I want cave paintings down this arm. So this is like one of the first comic strips. Yeah. It's a medieval tapestry called the Bayer Tapestry. Yeah. From the Battle of Hastings. Yeah. And on this arm, it's like the first art ever, which was cave paintings. So I pay homage to uh, real art and comics. That's awesome. All right, well... I my shit on my body, no. <laughs> I would. Nothing more. I would. But... Well, that's up to you. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that that's all that I have for you. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell the internet about your life or what's coming next or? Uh, well, depending when you see this, I have a lot of new things coming in a few weeks or a month or so. Um, lots of stuff I can't talk about yet. But if you like tentacles, that'll be part of it. If you like me, that'll be good. Squid people. Squid people, yeah, squeeple. <laughs> All right, so I think that that's about it. Um, I'm Kay at Comics First. Remember to check out our YouTube channel, Comics First TV. Subscribe, comment, like, uh, follow our Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, all that stuff. Uh, also remember to Google check out, Instagram. yes, Google, thank you. Google. Thank you for saving me. Also check out our blog, www.comicsverse.com for in-depth comics analysis. Ben Temple Smith, thank you so much for having this lovely chat. Thank you. And I hope you do a really, I hope you do great things in the future. So does my mom. <laughs> Am I your mother? No, I said so does my mom. Okay, so we should meet up. Sure. She's in Australia. <laughs> All right. And thank you, viewers. Remember to check back. I'm Kay, and you're at Comics First.